Greetings. Uh, this is Larry Stoll from Pace Turf, and we're starting to get some activity from the field now. And what I want to show you today is a uh, sample of a Poa annual green that came in with an uneven surface on the uh, on the green. It's not that easy to see here, uh, just looking at the sample. But you can see there's some areas where the turf is uh, has uh, more aggressive growth, and then areas where the turf is suppressed uh, in through the sample. And uh, this is one of those interesting samples where it's difficult to find any pathogens but if you flip the sample over and what I what I do sometimes I like to do with the sample is when I'm looking at it is you break the sample open uh, like this and what you'll see in some cases in this case you'll see that there's some uh, white material that looks like it might be mycelium or some other material in the sample that material it turns out to be is uh, a little something different than uh, mycelium and we'll take a little closer look at it to show you what it is. Well here it is a little bit closer. You can see the white cottony material deposited around the roots in the soil and the forceps are pointing at a yellow object uh, in the soil and by now you might be able to guess that the source of this material is going to be an insect. Now we'll push the soil away a little bit and get a better look at what is a root mealy bug. So this is a sucking piercing insect, a homopteran that feeds on the roots of turf grass plants. This particular individual we're looking at here is a gravid female. So she's pretty much uh, almost sedentary and just pumps out eggs. I'm gonna push her from the bottom a little bit and we'll see if we can get her to turn over and just see her undersides. Okay, that's her from the bottom and in a second we'll get to see her moving her legs a little bit. Uh, the waxy material helps protect these insects from uh, other predators and insects. So there's her legs uh, going. I don't think she's going to be able to turn herself over. This is a crawler, which is a uh, young developing root mealybug. They can move around a little bit more easily and find a good place to uh, settle in for feeding. Let me push the soil away so that you can get a better look at this individual. And there you go, and you can see the little antennae, and they have little eye spots or light sensors uh, that will help them uh, move away from the light and uh, stay down into the soil so you can see the uh, insect moving away. And what we'll do is pick both of these uh, insects up and transfer them onto a microscope slide to uh, take a little bit of a closer look and as you might imagine they don't do well when they're placed between a cover slip and the slide with some water they're pretty soft bodied so they tend to pop a little bit well here's the insect uh, between a cover slip and the microscope slide on a little bit higher magnification she didn't do so well uh, in this <laughs> stressful condition, so then you really can't see much. They're a little bit difficult to get uh, the structures picked out. But we'll uh, move over to an egg uh, that she had uh, deposited, and we'll see uh, how those things look. Well, here they are off to the side, and uh, there's not much to them. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer. We can take uh, see if we can see anything better, but it turns out there's really not much to see. That's the little eye spot sensor that gives them some sense of light conditions and the legs are folded against the body. Uh, the legs are on the bottom side of that image and it's really difficult to make much out. Uh, but we'll look at them from the top also. So they're, they're not much to these guys uh, except their ability to um, suck the carbohydrates out of uh, plant roots. We come up on this next one. This one we're looking down from the top so you can see the two eyes on either side of the head end of the insect. And then this is a less developed uh, one that doesn't even really have any eye spots uh, developing yet. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's a little sample of uh, what you can get when you start cracking samples open and take a look before you send them in sometimes. Uh, it doesn't always work, of course, with, with POA when the root zone's so small you can break them open and get a lot of uh, visuals. Uh, also take a look at the information that's uh, associated with this update. And for control of an organism like this one, uh, you can fall back onto uh, Section 2 E, which uh, allows you to use pesticides that you normally would use to control pests uh, for pests that are not on the label.